Hello, hello. This is Pat with Petresca Papers, and I am out in the Bluebird Bungalow, and I want to play. And I thought, I'm going to just turn on the camera and hope that this turns out to be something worthwhile that I'll want to post on my YouTube channel. So, what I came across is this is a digital kit I posted on my Etsy shop earlier this year. Uh, I think it was spring, maybe even earlier than that. And it's the junk in the trunk. And I pulled it out and I looked in it and I'm like, wait, I have not put any junk in my trunk. So that's what I'm going to do today. Now, if you're interested in looking at this, I will post the video below and the digital kit link on my Etsy shop. But we're going to do, I think, um, several, and make this like a little series of different easy junk easy ephemera for our junk journals okay and fill this up because i've got some space all right so the first one i have so many books now some are vintage some are not i don't think it really would matter if you use vintage or not but the book pages i'm going to use today are vintage so what we're going to do, and I don't even know what to call this. It is going to go on a book page like this. Let me grab this little journal here. And on a page, it will straddle the page and you will have a pocket there and a pocket there and as you flip it over you'll have a pocket there and a pocket there and i'm going to do one with you out of a book page and then also one out of some scrap digital that i have and i don't even know which kit this came from but let's carry on and then i've got some things to decorate or put in with it so now your your book pages may be a different size than mine this particular book the page is five and a half by eight, which is quite a standard size. Um, but if yours is bigger, smaller, you're, you're, what are we going to call this? I don't know. Maybe by the end of the, maybe by the end of the video, we'll come up with a name for it. But whatever size it is, you can either pare it down or use it that size. So if it were bigger than, let's say, the depth of your, your page, just cut this off right here. Trim that. Okay? So let's get started. Now, my book page is fairly thin. So I decided I wanted to strengthen it so I fold up this one of the edges and this one has a raggedy edge so I I don't mind just leaving it because it's going to be inside and then I'm going to fold up this side down you don't have to do too much I'm doing, I don't know, what is that? An inch and three quarters. 
And then this is going to be folded up about, oh, I don't know, a little less than an inch. And it does need to be distressed. And I'm going to take time and do that just so that we can see the folds. Okay, and I'll open this up and come across here. And as I was playing with these book pages, I realized that I wanted a nice fold in the middle. And so what I did is open this up and folded it. Well, maybe even that all the way open and fold it so I get a good halfway fold and then fold these back again and in and up and then fold it in half there. Now was that necessary? Not necessarily necessary but it just I now I'm sure that it's it's good and a little distressing there. All right, so if I am putting this onto this page, all I need to do is add glue, and I think I'll add this one. Well, actually, yes, I will, I will, I will. And I'll make another one to stick in my junk, trunk, junk, junk trunk. I am just going to put one line of glue along there and pull it over. And I think I probably was a little too generous with that glue because it's coming out all over my fingers. Okay, let's see. Let's do this one and try to not be quite so generous. And that goes down. So once that is glued down, I, I decided I would not put any glue along there because then it leaves it as a tuck for possibly something that you want to put in that is larger. For instance, if you wanted to put this in, it can, do, well, this is not larger. What do I have nearby that's larger? I may or may not have something. What have I got? What have I got? I think I'd have something bigger, biggerer. Well, this is bigger, but it's almost too big. But yes, it is too big. Too big. Well, if I were putting in this envelope, that could just slide down there and we could have it tuck in. And the same for here, this can tuck, but you can do some smaller items and a larger tag on both sides. Or you can put a dress from the video that I did last week for the little origami dresses. This is a great little pocket for them. Also, I'll link that video below and that kit. But that's how you would use it. Now, let's make another one kind of quick here because it's, it is not a lengthy process. So I'm just folding up the raggedy edge. And maybe while I'm here right now, let's fold this in half because we know we want to do that. And we'll decorate this one a little bit. Okay. 
so we folded that up. That's folded up. We're going to fold this one down just a bit, about an inch, maybe three quarters. And then you will fold up like that. And fold there. So one thing about ephemera like this, if you are making this a head, you may just want to make a blank, um, what are we gonna call this? A blank tuck spot so that you can decorate it when you know what you're going to need it for, what type of album. I'm getting ready to do a fairy album for a granddaughter and I haven't really started it yet but I know I'm going to want it decorated with lots of woodland or fairy type things so as I do this I will just be making some blank type things to embellish when I am ready. So, to embellish this, I have a couple of things here. I have a, oh, what are these called? Snippets, where I had a bunch of off things that I'd torn off and I just gathered them up and stapled them and then added a little mini label and a butterfly. And I have a bunch of these made up and I think that would be really cute there. And I think that's probably all it would need. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back of here and let this kind of stick up above. And then when I put in whatever it'll just tuck right down there in front of it or in back of it in back of it okay and then on this side I'm going to do a little mini embellished label I have a digital kit that has a sheet similar well like this but double this is for a hidden paper clip, which I'll, of course, link for you. But it's really fun to make the hidden paper clips because they just clip over like that. But it occurs to me we can cut them up and use them to embellish our tuck our two page tuck I don't know I don't know what to call it hopefully I'll have a brainstorm before we're done so I'm thinking that I will put this right on there like that but I and then let's see Should we put a butterfly no Oh, I've got a ticket. No. What else should I do? Anything? I didn't get out a ton of things. That's, I'm thinking for something else. Let's put this flower there. And I don't like the blue. I think that's what's got me. Maybe that. No. here that brown one we'll do that so just trim off these little corners stress it just a little bit and with some ink just to cover up that white edge and I think we'll do that 
just a little bit of glue on that label and we'll put that right there like that and just on these flowers and I think these flowers are actually from a Tim Holtz ephemera pack that. All right. So this for now is done and let's slide this into the trunk. Right down in there. Close it up and let's do one more out of this larger sheet. So out of this larger sheet I'm going to go with the full size. So I'm going to fold it up there, right like that. I want a nice straight edge if I can get it. Did I do it straight? I don't know. Probably not. The longer it gets, the, the more uneven I am. Let's go ahead and fold this in half. Oh, and we do want to cut off this white on this edge. Let's see if it's the same on both sides. Pretty good. Okay. That. And then this is going to fold down about there. Fold you up to there. It's going to make some fairly decent sized little tucks. All right. Let's do a quick distress. middle. All right. So this will go on a page. So if this were your page for your journal, this would go on there and cover almost the whole thing. And you'd have great space to tuck tags or a dress or other ephemera. Okay. And to decorate this one, because we're going to put it in to our trunk, on this side I'm going to use this little snippet. And I think what that was was some packing from Amazon. And then I did a few little snippets of lace and I, I did sew, evidently. Every now and then I get ambitious and I get pull out the sewing machine. And that's going to go right there. Like that. And do we want to put another little tag on it? No. No, no, no. Let's flip it over on this side. Let's take that. It's kind of cute. And out. No. No. Let's see. Got a little butterfly. I think I'll put a little butterfly on it. So, a little bit of glue on here. Glue that down right there. And just a little bit on that butterfly. Like that. All 
right. So there is another one. And I guess we will call it a double pocket dual page. I don't know. Well, whatever, as this is uploading, I'll come up with some kind of a catchy name for us so that we'll know what it is that we're making. So, thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you will look at some of my other videos and hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified well, subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment and watch for another series. I'm going to try to do hopefully a couple of week so that I can fill up my trunk. So this will slide in there along with these others that I created that are just blank. Slide those in there too. All right. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.